All right, guys, this is Askham, the Doberman. I just got here today. He's struggling a lot. He's never been away from his owner. His owner is with him 24 hours a day. He's able to work from home. So it's definitely created a lot of anxiety. He's having a really tough time. Today's his first day here. I planned on doing what I do with most dogs, but complete change of plans. I'm starting to work this dog right now. I'm gonna start the e-collar process right now because he needs it. I have to start working this dog because he's struggling inside way too much. The whining, the crying, just really having a hard time being separated. So the best way I know how to conquer that is to put him to work and get to training. So very first time on the e-collar, I've done nothing. I got the sound box going so you guys can hear it, but I didn't even check the dog's level yet. I expect this to be awful. I think it's gonna be terrible. Um, it's hard to get him to look at me. He's not very food motivated. Maybe that's changed now in the past couple hours. So let's just go and I'll give you step by step what we're doing, okay? Now I'm gonna do it three different ways or four different ways and I'll walk you through it as I'm doing. I'm gonna let him dictate where we're at, all right? So I'm gonna just start looking for his level first. And he'll probably respond to the sound box. So you can watch the dog, Sophia. See, that's a respond to the sound box and that's why I hate using it, but I'm using it for you guys. See, there he feels it. He looked behind him a little bit, so he feels it there now, right? Okay. So now we're going to just start. We're going to start very, very simple, okay? Pack some cum. Yes, good boy. Good job. Good boy. So there you hear, I'm holding the stimulus down. I'm holding the continuous button down first, right? I give the command. The second he turns to come my way, I release the button on the e color I mark it. The second he turns my way and reward. Let's do it again. That's a good boy. I'm surprised he's actually taking food. Good job, bub. Good boy. Good. You take your time, okay? Slow the movement down, All right? That's for good job. I'm good. <laughs> oh, that a boy. Yes. Good. So I'm gonna just reward him for that. Good boy, Axum. Good. Now. He's starting to stay a little closer so what I'm gonna do is use what the dog gives you if he's at my side I'm gonna create distance okay actually he's not at my side now so we can go back to doing normal right so I press Axum come yes good boy good boy Axum good good job very slow good I guarantee you this will help him right from the start. It's gonna help ease his mind a lot with the anxiety. Good. So he's away, right? I press. Ax him, come. Yes, good boy. That's a nice job, pal. Good, good. Earlier today, I worked on the marker word with him for 10 minutes, that's it. Just teaching him the marker word. So where a lot of you guys are failing, guys, you're not marking the second the dog comes. Remember, he doesn't know what this means. So a combination of the verbal command, the e-collar stimulation, and the leash, including my body position and language, all helps him put it together, all right? So he's right there. Ax him come. Yes, good boy. Good job, pal, very good. Okay, much better than I expected from him. Good job. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work this dog like crazy while he's here. Ax him, come. Yes, good boy. Good job, very good. 
That's a good response. Now remember, he's never felt this. He has no idea what it is. Again, guys, the purpose of conditioning to the e-collar is not to teach him a command, not to use it to make a command better, not to correct, not to punish. It is to teach him what this weird stimulation means. That's it. Nothing else matters at this point. Once we put in a good week or two of teaching him what it means, then you can use it for everything. <laughs> Axum come. Yes, good boy. Very nice. That's a good job, buddy. Very good. Good. All right. So now I'm going to walk and I'm going to do some turnabouts here. So here there will be no reward, no command. He'll start learning that when he just feels the tap, it's to turn and follow me, okay? Come on, boy. Again, there, there's no command, no reward, just teaching him that the tap means turn and come with me. All right, let's do it again. Good, very good. 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 But see, now there's no leash pressure. He's turning as soon as he feels it. Good job, bud. Come here. Good job. So that's another way, right? That's one of the four ways we do it. Good job. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but while I'm moving, I'm gonna stop on a dime and back up using his forward momentum. This time I will use the e-collar, I will use the command and a reward. You don't have to use the, the command here, but I will. So it looks like this. Come on. Good job. That's a very nice response. Fast, boom, come to me. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Good. We're going to do that again. So listen, again, I start moving. I use his forward momentum. I stop back straight up, call him to me like this. Come on. Let's go. Back to the Yes. Good boy. I like it. Good job. Now we relax. All right. We relax. I just let him be a little bit. Good job. See, you don't have to rush this. Take your time. Take your time. He's a real nice dog. But again, so often, guys, it's a beautiful thing when you're able to be with your dog 24 hours a day, but it can create a lot of problems. And he's struggling today because of it, okay? So, without a command, without nothing, just the tap, he turns to come to me, I'm gonna reward. This is the fourth way, right? Yes, good boy. Good boy. So notice, I didn't say anything, I didn't do anything. I tapped, he came right to me. I said yes, and then I went and rewarded. I'm not telegraphing it by taking out a reward and holding it there first. Very important, okay? Let's do that again. So back to what I said before, use what he gives you. If he's at your side, then do the turnabouts or use his momentum, right? So he's at my side, let's do that. Yes, good. That's a nice response, right? Woo, he jumped. He said, whoo, I'm the unicorn like Emmy. I'm a unicorn, good. That's a good, that's what I wanna see. That's what we wanna see. We wanna see a dog motivated. Good job. So now he gives us a little distance, right? Yes. Good job. It doesn't get it doesn't get any better like that as far as a response, guys. Let's do that again. No command, just a tap. Oh, he's peeing. My bad. Sorry. Let him pee. Good. Now just let him be. Yes! Good boy, Axum. Very nice. Again, use what he gives you. If he's at your side, doesn't give you room, do the turnabouts or the momentum. When he gives you some distance, call him to you. Axum, come. 
Yes. Good boy. That's what I want. Now you got a little pep in your step, right? Yeah. He went, woo. That's what he did. Look, let's do it. Woo. Oh, I know. I know. That's good. Wait, 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 wait. Let's show the people again. Let's show them what two agile lean unicorns look like, right? He went, woo. That's what he did. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Good. This is supposed to be fun for him, guys. Okay? You take the anti-e-collar people, the bands all over, and you tell them, boom! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What? Now you're getting carried away. All right, let's get back to business. Let's get back to business. Yeah. Now he's starting to look at me, okay? Couldn't get that before at all. Good. Now, I don't know if you can hear or see that. I marked that with a yes and rewarded him because he's pushing. He's pushing me for some food. I want that. I want to build this dog up. That's what I rewarded. Yes. Okay. So you see guys, he wasn't far from me. So you, a lot of you guys struggle when the dog won't leave. Let's say if you do want to call, so he's only a couple of feet away, right? Check it out. So I'll telegraph it with the food so he stays here. So if he's this close, guys, you don't need a lot of distance. So right from him next to you, press, facts have come. Yes, good boy. Doesn't need to be far away. You create the space. Ready? Watch. Oh, you're gonna go in reverse to create space now? Come. Yes, good, good boy. Very nice. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's a good response. Good. Good. Oh, all right. That's enough. That's enough jumping. Yes. I'm going to mark and reward that. Good. Good job. But you see, guys, now he's engaging with me, right? So the big bad e collar, the tool that was just banned overseas and we're still struggling to fight with here. Now he's starting to engage with me. Complete opposite of what people think, right? Good. Come. Yes, good boy. Very nice. Very nice, Axum. Very good, buddy. Good. Good job. Yes. So again, no command, just the tap, right? Four different ways. Holding the, the stimulation, holding the continuous button before the command, right? Tapping it without a command, nothing rewarding. The turnabouts and the momentum, right? So let's do it again. That's the, oh. Someone's gonna get a nice heel going. Nice, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice heel going. But you see, I know I'm dragging this along a long time, guys, but I'm not rushing. This is what I would do if I wasn't filming. It's this boring, this simple. Good. Good. Now, I'm gonna do one more time. And then I'm gonna just give him a big handful of food, okay? Now, I don't want him in there. Uh-uh. Nah. Mm. <laughs> Free dog. Good. Good. So we start working on that release command right now, okay? This is exciting stuff, right? I might get an Emmy for this. So he's paying attention to something over there. I hold it. Axum, come. Oh, oh, who's a rocket? Again. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Oh, there's a ball. My boy's playing ball out front. He's watching the ball go. So this is good. He's completely distracted now, right? I'm going to do one more time and give him a big handful of food. Axum, come. Yes, good job, buddy. That's a good boy. Good boy. 
So my boy's playing ball out front and he's focused on the ball. You know, I talk a lot, guys, about not using distractions when we start. It's gonna be very different with this dog. He needs to be pushed a lot. His response was way better than I thought it would be. I thought it would be really ugly from him because he's struggling. Like I said, he's struggling. So he's been here a few hours. I decided we're starting right away. I'm starting the work now and I am gonna push this dog and work this dog just like I did with Emmy because of the way she suffered, right? And so that's it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll bring him here. We're done with the e-collar work. And by the way, this is real time. So if I wasn't filming this, this is how long the sessions are when I'm starting in condition with the e-collar. That's it. Free dog. Now he's done. Now when I'm done here, I'm gonna just play with him and let him be a dog, okay? So hopefully this clears up some of the questions you guys are asking me about the conditioning in the first lesson. All right, and I'll keep you posted with him along the way. Peace.